Isn't it interesting how everyone who abuses me posts their little insults because they can't debate, they're not too smart. You know, they they just think if they post some smarmy comment that, you know, that's the way to win people over, win the debate, because that's all they can do. They always seem to have the accounts on private. It's just, yeah, it don't bother me. I just find it amusing that that's how brave they are. Anyway, it's just a little thought. <laughs> You know, I, it always amuses me when people insult me because, you know, they they can't debate. They've lost the argument. The moment people always, um, you know, any time someone insults me, you know they've lost the argument. Um, in this case, they know that I was correct. The article clearly states that Labour, this is a 1st of January article, and it clearly states that they're planning on... Um, and it's not the first time that actually I've heard another LA MP a few about a month or two ago saying that they also plan to get rid of free speech or reduce it down. The you know the the even in this article and even that MP, I think it was John's whatever his name is, it's clearly stated it was on TV. The article's online, uh, where he's been interviewed. It clearly stated, and so does this that the plan is to make free speech or legal speech that's legal today illegal because and somebody has to monitor it but none of these people want to admit that because in their la la land life they they think labor's kind they think being socialist is kind they think socialist people are kind strange they're not i mean this is just another example this is a person who is a bit rude and just shows that they're not a kind person as always you know, that like I always say, there's several things you can always find about socialists. One, they're not very nice people by the, you know, you can always find that they're rude and they swear and they call other people names and they degrade people. Two, they can't debate, they don't have an argument, they just insult you. And three, they probably just end up blocking you. Um, other posts are fourth, which I find, I always forget to mention, a lot of socialists just post rubbish, lies. You know, they'll say things like, there's thousands of people starving to death, and then you say, can you provide evidence, and suddenly it doesn't exist. You know, they'll say that people are below the poverty line, and then what it turns out is the, um, it's, I forget what is it, the mean or something, the average wage, what they're using. So I think that's based, at, so I think the stats there are, if you want to earn under 40,000, technically you're in poverty. And then, you know, the fact is, if you're using that, it means that to make, to if you're using that scenario, you have to basically have everybody in the same house on the same wage. So that would mean um, if two doctors live in a house, they have to combine to earn the same wage as somebody who's, you know, a paper boy or even someone unemployed. That's the only way you could get rid of that version of poverty. That's the line they use. That's why they get bump it up. So it's all, when you look at the stats of these lefties, you can see it's just blah, 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 rubbish. Um, that's why I don't go along with it. Anyway, it just amuses me when people post um, insults and then I find that they've just, you know, I've started to just block people because I find it, Oh, especially the ones that don't allow me to reply. They'll insult me and they've set it up so that I can't respond. So, bye. They, when, they, when people do that, I just block them. So I've come across a few doing that in recent days. They just, they, you know what I mean, they, they can't debate, so they've put me on some sort of block, so I'll just block them. I can't be bothered. All right, then. <laughs>